Hey everyone, Mike here from Clear Brands Grow. In today's video, I am joined by Gaz Vogan from the Inversion Project, and we're gonna continue our series on overcoming objections to creating video marketing content. So Gaz, how are you doing? I'm very good, thanks, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Very, very good, very good. Um, so today we wanna to discuss the objection of, you know, I forget what to say when I'm, when I'm making videos. Like, do you have any tips and suggestions based on that? Yeah, definitely. It's one of the things we spoke about when you first started doing video because you'd sort your script out, you knew what you were gonna say, but you were trying to do it all in one take, trying to remember it all. And as you go through the video, there's like, oh, you're looking up, you're trying to remember, you're stumbling over your words, and then you're trying to pause and actually think about what you then need to recut in the editing process. But there's a really simple way to get past it, and it's just using a teleprompter. So you can spend hundreds of pounds on a teleprompter to go with your fancy camera, or you can simply get an app from the app store. The one I use is NP Teleprompter, because I think it's two pound or 2 99 or something, and it's brilliant. You write your script on Google or on Microsoft Word, you can copy it into the teleprompter, set your speed, uh, and just read it straight off the camera. And the brilliant thing is, because it's built into your phone and you're using your phone for your video, it looks like you're talking to the screen, you're not having to like, look away and check your laptop mm -hmm. or look at your notes. So it gives off the impression that you're super confident, you know what you're talking about, <laughs> and yeah, you don't forget your words, which is always helpful. Yeah, so that was one thing that really did help me. Um, but I did find that I'd actually be quite monotone just reading this uh, off so go a bit bland um so i yeah. still need to work on that because i can come across a bit monotone on these sort of things and actually yeah. i'm as an alternative to the, the the teleprompter that you suggested i actually downloaded one called prompt smart pro i think that was actually that was more like i think between 18 and 20 quid so actually quite pricey on the app front but it's um sort of special feature was that it could actually um sort of listen and move with your voice rather than having yeah. to set a speed so yeah you could actually you just read it off at your own pace and it will just move it for you rather than having to like judge the speed before beforehand yeah and i think um, that's a good little advantage to have because i've had it with a few clients where you start with the teleprompter and it's gone too fast so then we have to go back to the start and then it's going too slow and it's trying to find that middle value and yeah. so yeah any voice recognition it might be worth paying the extra bit for but if you are trying yeah. to keep it's tight there are the cheap options yeah. and i'm Plenty quite good options. on mine I know my speed and yep. mine's a speed seven, I think on the, mm -hmm. the NP teleprompter when I'm doing mine. Yep. Um, but it's amazing how much of a difference it makes. If you can still bring that animation and mm -hmm. that kind of conversation technique mm -hmm. into your videos rather than, you know, reading off the, reading off the slides. Um, yeah. <laughs> it certainly does. It gives it a good edge and yeah, it takes out a lot of the ums and the ahs that yep. instantly put a little bit of doubt in your viewer's mind as does he know what he's talking about? <laughs> does anyone know what they're talking about? No, I think we're all just trying to wing it. We're all winging it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but obviously, you know, if you don't even want to get the app, you can always, you know, stick some post-it notes or maybe a bit of paper and just put the whole thing on, you know, above the camera or something. So you can do some, some makeshift stuff. Um, I, yeah, will leave, sure. I will leave links to those um, apps in the comments. Um, anything to finish on, Gaz? Uh, not particularly, but if you're still not entirely sure about video marketing yet, we've got a couple more ob objections we need to overcome, but hopefully we've got past a few of the major ones. So you'll nearly be on your way into to video marketing success. Brilliant. Perfect. And as, as always, where can people find you if they want to chat? So they can find me on Instagram, which is at the inversion project or to my email address, which is gaz at the inversion project.com, which is here. <laughs> So yeah, either of those will get straight to me and I can get back to you as soon as you can, even if it's just brainstorming some video marketing ideas or a little few tips and tricks, etc. Brilliant. Well, thank you again for joining me. Um, Anytime. To everyone else, um, see you on the next video. Bye.